Hello, welcome to this episode of Cup TV. We're going to be using a gorgeous topper sheet and a shaped card from Lorraine Appleby. The sheet that we're going to be using is called Nailed It. It's cup number 564430 underscore 1566. You can see all of Lorraine's work by going to the website www craftshoeprint.com slash Lorraine Appleby or search for Lorraine by going to the search box at the top of the website and writing in Lorraine Appleby. This will bring up all of Lorraine's work. I'll also include links at the bottom in the description box of where you can go to see not only this sheet but Lorraine's designs. So this is a topper sheet and a shaped one at that. It's a gorgeous one and one that you can have a lot of fun with. Very simple, but you can jazz it up to your own um, abilities and with your own embellishments. So we're starting off and I've cut everything out from the actual sheet. And I'm using an A5 blank card. It's a black card that I've just added a layer of white card on top. Just going to zoom in a little bit for you. So the first thing I've done is I've cut out the base of the actual handbag and I've added 3D foam on the back of it and I'm going to peel off the back of the foam and I'm going to position this on the actual front of our card. So this will sit nicely in the middle like that. There we go. The next layer, again, I've just added 3D foam on the back. I've cut it out from the sheet. And it's a little bit smaller than the previous layer. And it's going to sit at the top. So this has got the clasp on it and the top of the bag and the hand. So we'll just add that to the top over the previous layer like so. Now the last layer is the actual hand and there's quite a few bits of 3D foam on this so bear with me because I just want to get the height and make sure I get the fingers and everything and the nails on and what beautiful nails they are put mine to shame so we'll just add this over the top I'm just going to spin that round so that I can see and this goes over the layer below and we match the fingers up over the top like that so that's the basis of our card now Lorraine's added lots of bits and pieces for us to have some fun with. So the first thing I've done is I've taken the clasp and I've cut the clasp out and I've added a little bit of glossy accents to it so you can just see a little bit of a shine on there. The next thing is the nails. I've cut out the extra nails and I've added them onto 3D foam and I've added glossy accents to them and that makes the nails look really shiny as if it is polish so I'll just position those now on the last nail not only have I added 3D um, sorry glossy accents I've added a crystal as well to the base of the nail so that will sit nicely there. And the last thing, I've just got one of my own sentiments. And I'm just going to place that at the bottom. So this is just a sentiment that I've had from um, a kit from previous um, things. And it just sits nicely there with the silver. So you can see the gloss on the nails. And it's just all about having fun is this sheet. It really is one of those that you can jazz up 
and just play with. And I'd like to say that I think this is awesome and Lorraine's done such a good job on this. There's also two inserts that would match your card available. So don't forget to look for Lorraine Appleby on Craft Shoe Print. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you again next time.